in Sudan, in fact, there are more pyramids than in Egypt. And this is a thing that people don't think of very often. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're examining 10 important historical events you've never heard of. I got hit. I got hit like everybody else that spoke the language here. For this list, we'll be looking at the most interesting or significant historical events that are not widely known. Which of these do you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments below. The Late Bronze Age Collapse. Between 3300 and 1200 BCE, some of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen rose to power. This great upheaval in the Eastern Mediterranean and Near East lasted about a half a century, from around 1200 to 1150 BCE. For reasons that are still ambiguous, the structures of society collapsed, and numerous empires of the time were weakened or outright destroyed. Basically, everything that had been good and great about the previous era now disappears. Vast interconnected civilizations disintegrated into isolated villages, ushering in the Greek Dark Ages. It wasn't until about 750 BCE, some 400 years after the collapse, that these Dark Ages came to an end. No one knows why civilizations in the region fell apart, but it was likely a perfect storm of debilitating factors, including natural disasters, economic disruptions, and invasions by the mysterious Sea Peoples. The Sea People were a multi-ethnic group working together to attack the great civilizations of the day. And as more and more destroyed sites are uncovered, the scale of the attacks is staggering. Nellie Bly circumnavigates the globe. Writing under the pen name Nellie Bly in the late 19th century, journalist Elizabeth Cochran was a trailblazer who exposed the mistreatment of women in American factories and asylums. These women are not insane. Most have been made crazier by this place. While writing for the New York World in the late 1800s, Bly was inspired by Jules Verne's iconic adventure novel Around the World in 80 Days to attempt her own ambitious trip around the globe. Circling the globe. This is going to be rather amusing. Her progress became a national sensation, with Bly providing updates via telegraph. She broke the world record by circumnavigating the globe in just 72 days. Bly would later publish her personal account in the book Around the World in 72 Days. The Zimmerman Telegram just a few months before the U.S. entered World War I, German Foreign Secretary Arthur Zimmermann sent his now-famous telegram. The message was intended for Heinrich von Eckhart, a German ambassador who was stationed in Mexico. Conversations with German attaches frequently took place in Chapultepec, often criticizing America and discussing how the two countries could form closer ties. The coded telegram instructed von Eckhart to propose an alliance with Mexico should the United States enter World War I. We make Mexico a proposal of alliance on the following basis. Make war together, make peace together. If they accepted, Mexico would be given territory that had previously been taken from them by the U.S., the states of Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. Como México perdió la mitad de su territorio a los Estados Unidos en una guerra injusta, siempre hubo unas, un resentimiento enorme contra los Estados Unidos. However, British intelligence intercepted and decoded the telegram which spurred American public support for the war. Without the Zimmerman telegram, World War I may have turned out very differently. Claudette Colvin. Most people ask me, when you're afraid? When I was a teenager, I was afraid, but I was more angry at, at these white passioners. Everyone has heard of Rosa Parks, a defining symbol of the civil rights movement. Parks famously refused to vacate her seat on a Montgomery bus. But she wasn't the first. Nine months earlier, in March of 1955, 15-year-old Claudette Colvin refused to give up her seat to a white woman and was arrested. And I felt like this is my time to take a stand for justice. Colvin became one of several plaintiffs to challenge Montgomery's bus segregation laws. She and civil rights attorney Fred Gray were successful in their challenge, and the city was ordered to end bus segregation. However, civil rights campaigners didn't publicize her story because she was unmarried and pregnant, and thought that Rosa Parks, the secretary of the local NAACP chapter, made a more agreeable public face. I just wanted people to come together and unify and fight the segregation. The Sultana Explosion. It remains the worst maritime disaster in American history. 
but few people today have ever even heard of it. In 1865, the steamboat Sultana sank on the Mississippi River when three of its four boilers exploded. The initial explosion blew a hole 25 to 30 feet wide through all three upper decks, wiping out most of the main cabin. Designed to carry 376 people, the Sultana was instead carrying 2,128, most of them paroled Union prisoners. 1,167 perished in the accident. Frantic screams as many slid into the fire. Wails and cries could be heard as the steamboat began sinking. The captain was among the dead, and the military was reluctant to go after the officers responsible, so no one was ever held accountable. The event was sandwiched right between Lincoln's assassination and the end of the Civil War, so it didn't receive much attention in the press. It eventually made news, though this newspaper shows it was buried pages behind the coverage of Lincoln, and after that, it was quickly forgotten. The Stonewall Riots in the 1960s, police raids on gay bars were common. You know the drill, huh? IDs, please. Get in the line up against the walls. This will all be over in a second. But in 1969, when police raided New York's Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village and became violent, people fought back. Why are you all just standing there? <laughs> help me! Go, 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 go. Police soon lost control of the situation, and several riots occurred over the next few nights. This one event sparked a national rebellion, and many LGBT activist groups were soon fighting for their rights. To mark the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall incident, major cities across the country took part in the very first Pride March. Today, it's considered a watershed moment in LGBT rights, and the Stonewall Inn has been made a national historic landmark. Through the Stonewall riots, the gay rights movement gained mainstream visibility and a momentum that continues to this day. The Los Angeles Chinatown Massacre of 1871. A forgotten history remembered here at the Chinese American Museum in downtown LA. Only a few of the documented racial massacres in American history have become common knowledge. In late October of 1871, a shootout between rival Chinese organizations left a local policeman and farmer dead. As rumors spread and exaggerated events, an angry mob of white and Hispanic Americans descended on LA's old Chinatown neighborhood. The violence that followed saw the mob assaulting residents and lynching them. 19 Chinese immigrants were killed, their bodies hung in the street. The 19 that were killed during the massacre represented 10% of all the Chinese living in, in Los Angeles. No one was punished for the attack, as those who were sentenced to prison terms had their convictions successfully overturned on appeal. Canada's residential school system. It's only recently that Canada's residential school system has made its way into mainstream conversation. I was imprisoned here, I was put here, and I did my time. Beginning in 1894, the then named Department of Indian Affairs made it mandatory for indigenous children to attend Canadian boarding schools. The hope was that these schools would sever indigenous children from their roots and culture through forced conversion. I got hit. I got hit I got, like everybody else that spoke the language here. These children were subjected to various forms of abuse, and it's estimated that up to 30,000 died. An indigenous community in Kamloops, British Columbia, found more than 200 likely graves of children who were forced to attend a boarding school for indigenous kids. The next month, 751 more were found in Saskatchewan. If true, that would account for 20% of all of the children inside the system. It also led to intergenerational trauma, with many communities suffering from high rates of PTSD, alcoholism, and self-harm. The Nubian Dynasty. From the very first moment that Kush appears in, in history, around 2000 BC, it was powerful. In the 8th century BCE, King Pie of Kush, a kingdom located in what's now Sudan, invaded Lower Egypt, founding a new dynasty of Egyptian rulers. From its prime position on the Nile, the Kush Empire controlled trade routes from the south up to Egypt, transporting ivory, leopard skins, precious stones, and gold. Their reign lasted for almost 100 years, until they were pushed back into Nubia in 656 BCE. However brief it may have been, the Kushites created the largest Egyptian empire in centuries. Not since the New Kingdom ended in the 11th century BCE had Egypt and Kush been united. 
the Nubian dynasty successfully blended Kushite culture with ancient Egyptian practices and revived the construction of pyramids for deceased rulers. In Sudan, in fact, there are more pyramids than in Egypt. And this is a thing that people don't think of very often. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. The Toba Eruption Seventy-four thousand years ago, we may have teetered on the brink of extinction. A supervolcano known as the Toba Caldera Complex in Sumatra, Indonesia, exploded, depositing blankets of ash for thousands of miles. The eruption lasted between 9 and 14 days, spewing out ash and rock at a rate of a million cubic meters per second. In fact, glass shards from the explosion have been discovered in Africa. It's theorized that this may have led to a volcanic winter that drastically reduced the human population. This population bottleneck may have consisted of just 3,000 to 10,000 people. The theory is disputed, but if it's correct, we're all descendant from a very small group of survivors. What we can say for sure is that some humans lived through that particular apocalypse, and we're here today thanks to their survival. 